Hey guys, and welcome to a walkthrough video on how to build the robot in the Construct Factory as well as leading up to the Spirit Temple and a spoiler section at the end of this video on how to beat the boss in case you're struggling. Okay, so this is located over here at this place at the end of the video that I just made, which if you don't know how to get here, that video is linked in the description. We're heading to the east to the left leg depot right over here. And we're gonna show you how to solve this one. So when you're here, all you have to do is activate the handprint thing as you've always done. This will bring the left leg down in a container, which we're gonna have to take through a different exit because the one we just walked through is gonna be closed. So what we're gonna do is just put this one in here, hit the rockets to take it up nice and easy. This is the easiest one of the four. Go ahead and interact with the Zonai device dispenser to unlock it on your map. And then we're gonna take the thing here and we're gonna line it up like this. This is basically a ramp which we can attach a rocket to it. So we're gonna basically fly it across to the other section because you need to do it like this. And then you need to kind of angle the ramp, right? Now you don't wanna make it too low. You wanna have it looking like almost a bit too high. Like this is already too low. You wanna have it so that it lines up with the light as much as high as it can like this, right? If you can stand, Instead of climbing, then it's already too low. Activate it while you're standing on it and it should take you across through the middle, nice and easy. And then go ahead and ultra hand and grab it and we're gonna take it to this next section over here. So turn around, we're gonna place it over here, nice and easy. But before we go, we're gonna turn around the section. There's some lasers up here. We're gonna go ahead and climb or use ascend, go through the section here. You should be able to use ultra hand from here to grab the chest as well as those carts that have zonites on them if you want to loot those grab the chest then come back here grab your your left leg and then take it to the robot once you get it there it should like explode and then you just have to attach it in the right place like a puzzle piece boom and that's how you attach the piece next we're gonna do the right leg the right leg first we're gonna go right behind the statue where the robot is we're gonna ascend through the section here there's two chests for you to loot and then from here we're gonna look towards the east so face east on your map here and you'll see there is a green light thing there we're going to use that platform here basically this whole thing i recommend getting that shrine so you can light this whole area up but you're going to basically land on this giant skeleton spine you can grab the shrine and then from here you're going to go to the right and you're going to follow along these ways here so that you can jump and glide to this right leg depot once you get in here you're just going to do the handprint thing you're going to get the right leg in the casing just as we did with the previous one we're going to take it with us we're going to put it in here we're going to attack this thing so the fans take us up on the elevator and from here we're going to grab it now i recommend rotating it here so that it's horizontal like this and then attaching it to the side of this thing so it basically hooks on just like that and then we're going to grab a fan and we're going to attach a fan to the middle of it once you've done that and you have battery life hit the fan so that it activates and takes it to the next area you can go over here collect some bomb flowers and then we're going to ascend to the area where it should be so you should see once we get up here it should already be around us somewhere here i think it just flew over us there it is so grab it, you're gonna deactivate the fan, you're gonna grab it, detach it, and we're gonna take it here onto the next lift and we're gonna take it up to this next floor. Go ahead, hit the fans, should take you up nice and easy. Once you get up here, you're gonna grab it and you're going to turn off the fan so that your battery life doesn't empty because it's annoying for waiting for it to refill. Now you're gonna place it here for now. Now there is a chest that's up there. I recommend going on the left here, climbing up this section here so that you can get up here. You're gonna grab that wing now, now, but first we're gonna open up the chest, open the chest. Once you're done, you're going to attach this um, controller to the wing. So attach it like this. And then you're going to take the wing and you're going to take it back down to the section. You can either fly it down or just extend it using the uh, forward arrow key on your controller so that you can move it and then just grab it here. We're going to place it down here first. We're gonna attach three fans to it, one on each wing and one on the middle of the back. So we're gonna grab a fan here, detach it, make it face backwards, place it in the middle of the back here and you're gonna attach this thing in the front of your plane. And then you're gonna put it on the runway section here. You're gonna stand on it, use the controller and you're going to fly it down to the robot. So go ahead and fly it all the way down here to the robot and just as you did before, take the container, put it here in front. It should break once it's like near there. Pick up the right leg and face it like a puzzle piece and place it inside there, nice and easy. Now we're gonna do the left arm depot. Now we're gonna look directly towards the shrine, which is south of us here, and we're gonna be going southwest. You can see that shrine in the distance. I'm gonna show you a quick pathway how we got there so you don't get lost in case yours is still covered in darkness. Go to the handprint machine, activate it, and from here, you're going to hit this thing. It's gonna roll up the, the door. We're gonna grab our our container and we're gonna place it like this. We're gonna grab the two wheels after we detach them there, like rotate them so you can loosen them and now face them like this. And you're basically gonna make a little car like this. 
attach one wheel that side. Make sure the arrows are both facing the same way and away from you. We're going to grab the controller and we're going to put it on top of the container just like this. And then you can just jump on and control it and drive it through the lava nice and easy. This is really fun. I like doing this. This is like the coolest thing of this entire game is like driving around. Okay, cool. Here we have to detach it and we have to build a different type of car. So we're going to place this here. We're going to place the wheel on the long end and another wheel on the other long end. And we need to move that wheel out of the way so that we can drive through here. Add the controller on the middle. Then you're going to move the car, line it up like this, and then climb on it, use the controller, and just drive across to the section here. Okay, cool. Nice and easy. Go up the ladder first or ascend behind it. There is a thing, a large poo that you can go with. <laughs> Giant poo. Grand poo, sorry. Grand poo is what it's called. And then you're going to loosen it like this. Um, so that you can take it through here. Now there's a few ways you can use the wheel thing that you saw at the beginning of the puzzle to open this door. I'm just gonna hold it up here, use recall to keep it up, and then I'm gonna grab this and go through. Nice and easy. Uh, it's probably could have done it a bit better, but we're gonna line this up here. We're gonna grab a fan. You have to deactivate it first like this, and we're gonna attach it to the back of this thing here. I'm sure you probably could do this with just one fan, but we're gonna go ahead and stop this fan here too because there's another chest that we can grab, loosen it, go ahead, loot the chest, and then take this fan and put this fan onto your your container, just like you did with the other one. And we're going to place it like here. I left my controller in the other room, so I just have to grab this, open the door. While I'm doing that, like rotate, so walk through. And then I'm going to grab the controller. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to use rewind on the door so it goes back up. And then grab the controller and just go through the gap that it made there, using it however way you want there. Put the controller on top of the device. And all you're going to do is move it into the water like this. And as you can imagine, go on it, use the controller, and you're just going to take it down to the to the robot. So we're just going to take it along the river here. You can turn left and right to control it. Just get it right over here. And then from here, you can just use Ultra Hand, loosen it, and then take it into the thing. Drop it close enough. It should break. And then as we did before, we're going to attach the left arm to the machine. Now we're going to go ahead and do the right arm depot. And this one here is going to be to the west. So it's up there. If you see on the map, we're basically going this direction and you can see the green lights. It's really nice and easy. Here's the pathway of how we get there. Once you get underneath it, you're going to use a sand. We're going to use a sand from that block that's under here. So right here, we're going to climb here, use a sand from this location, and this will take you right up to where the hand device is. You can run up to the hand device, activate it, and let's do the fourth and final uh, depot that we have in the game. So take the container with ultra hand. You're going to run up, just take it with you nice and easy. From here, we're going to basically build a, a special car that can ride on the electric wheels of this thing, right? So we're going to place the wheel, but we're going to place it like really so that the wheel sticks out at the bottom like that. But you want the wheel to be in the middle of the container. So I actually recommend putting the container on its uh, back and then just doing this upside down. It's just easier to build that way. And then the other wheel you want to put in the exact same orientation, not as higher or not lower. It needs to be even on both sides. And then you're going to basically face it with the arrow pointing direction away from you like this, place it and then activate with an arrow or something so that it can go and then we're going to go down here because there is a secret chest hidden down in this little cave over here we're going to go down there go to the right grab the chest and then ascend through to the top once you're done then proceed to your little car thing that you made and you're going to go ahead and take it to the next room now you're going to make a full car like you're going to put we like four wheels on you know like the the front and the back so like make a, just an exact replica of a car right so same thing we're just going to place it like this skipping ahead here so that you can see exactly what it looks like there is a controller at the back here you can see grab the controller using ultra hand and place it on the car and like we did with the other ways we just have to take this car down to the to the robot so we're going to go ahead ultra hand put it here grab on use the control and just drive it down because there's a lot of this red gloom stuff you can use your your goron dude to just like destroy everything really fun drives right up to the robot attach the piece the final piece there nice cool this will reveal that you can now control the robot and attach things to it right so it's hands and it's back piece this is going to lead up to a specific area which is going to show you where to go you just follow along here you can't get lost honestly it's really easy the hardest part maybe is near the end but all you need to know is how to attach things so press a and then you either attach things to your left hand, your right hand, and also your back. Now you're just going to proceed along the way. You can jump off the robot and fight alongside the robot. The robot will follow you like your other companions. But once you get to the final section where you need to reach the temple, you actually need to attach a rocket to your back. So I have two spike balls on my arms and a rocket on my back. And what you're going to do is once you get into this little gap here where this like staircase was, use your back part and fly up to the spirit temple. Now at this point, I'm going to give you a spoiler warning because I'm going to give you tips on the boss fight. If you don't want tips, leave the video now.
Cool, let's get into the boss fight. So this boss fight is going to be a boxing match in a bo boxing ring, which is really cool. All you have to do with this boss is hit it a few times so that it flies backwards. After a few hits, it will fly backwards and take damage from hitting the, the ring. When it does the shooting thing, immediately after, just walk left and right so you can dodge the shots like this. It also is a thing that you can pick up and use later on as well if you want. Now, you just have to keep hitting the boss multiple times and make sure it just takes a lot of damage. If you think you're going to get hit or the boss is attacking you, you can use the guard ability and it will immediately stagger the boss. But the boss will get to a point where it pulls out like these, uh, you know, like shock emitter blades don't let it hit you because it will stun you and that will be really annoying the boss also does a lot of damage so genuinely just don't get hit by it once it starts flying like this after a little cut scene you want to keep moving to the side because it will fly towards your location you just have to dodge it nice and easy and then make sure you either shoot it or hit it so that it staggers and then keep hitting it until it flies backwards into the fence just like that and you just have to repeat these things until you beat the boss i hope you guys enjoyed this complete guide and thank you so much for watching